girl Kira Shear. Thank you for tuning in. I'm super excited about talking to you. I love y'all. You know, I know. Do you know I love you? Do you know that? You must know it. I do love you. That's weird. But anyways, thank you for tuning in to my channel. I'm excited about talking about this, and I may have a little sentiment, like sentimental vibe to myself right now because friends are special to me. And so I'm going to tell you what I look for um, in a friend. Three characteristics, three important important characteristics y'all know about the stutter and challenge three important characteristics that i look for in a friend let him see let him see Loyalty, obviously. Um, I look for loyalty because I was just talking about this earlier. But for a long time, uh, obviously, I've been a PK. My father's a pastor. My grandfather's a pastor. My great grandfather's a pastor. My mom's father, my grandfather, he was a pastor. And then my grandmother was a leader in the church. And then there are so many other ways of when you just can see people pouring into people, and it's like, well, are you going to get that in return? No, we don't. Ex we're not giving to expect it in return. We're supposed to give freely. Be cheerful givers. Yes, that's what the word says. However, you do expect some people. <laughs> I hope this don't sound contradicting, but you do expect. You know, if you're calling them friends and family, I expect you to look out for me just like I looked out for you. You know. However. Um, what you think is common sense is not common sense for someone else. I think Shamika's mom or aunt um, shared that tip. But I do look for loyalty, and um, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. The Bible says, Proverbs, y'all know I like to give biblical references. So I know we're kind of turning things around, but to give my scriptures, Proverbs 18 and 24... For some reason, they decided to change when I when I said that. I think that was the devil. The blood of Jesus! Okay. Proverbs 18 and 24, it says, A man of company, I'm sorry, a man of many companions may come to ruin, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. So I'm usually looking for the comfort that I have with my brother. I'm hoping that I can have that comfort with uh, whoever, whatever friendship it is that I'm building. And honestly, right now, I have that with my friends. And if I don't have it, like, if I sense any kind of vibe where I don't feel comfortable, I'm out of there. Either I'm quiet or I'm just, okay, I'll talk to you later, I gotta go, or I'm gonna say I'm sleepy or something. But um, I, I'm always looking for the same comfort that I have around my brother and my family um, and how we give to each other. Like sometimes I'll analyze some of my conversations or my disagreements with my brother um, and compare them to like Shamika and Courtney. And sometimes I'm like, oh, well, if we got over this, then we'll get over that. And it's not a big deal. So I look for loyalty. And then um, and, and, and that thing where we can stick together, walk with the wise. Proverbs 13 and 20, he who walks with the wise grows wise, but a companion of fools suffers harm. So I am super um, particular about having friends around me where I don't know it all. I don't want to be the person that just knows it all. I want to know that my friend is wise as well. I feel like wisdom comes from the fear of the Lord. And I think that's super important to have people that can counsel you and give you what you need. Wisdom will save you from what experience can't save you from, if that makes sense. Um, hopefully that makes sense. I think you get it. Does that make sense? Um, John 15 and 13, greater love has no one do this, that he may lay down his life for his friend. I'm not asking my friends to die for me today, but we got I gotta know that you a ride or die. Um, like, I just need to know. Like, you see, it's a whole little disposition that comes on me. I need to know that if I'm in a, in a, in a space where I don't feel safe, you're gonna come to my rescue because I'll do the same thing. Like, who you talking to? If you're not talking to me, now you are because I heard what you said to so-and-so and, -so and it, it didn't rock well with me. It didn't sit well with me. Um, so it's, I guess it's the kind of like ready thing um, and all of that good stuff. So I'll go, I'll stop there. As iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. That's Proverbs 27, 27 and 17. That's a big deal for me because very often I'm in the public eye and I sometimes have people who are ready to give me their critique whether it's social media or whatever, but to know that I have a friend that can sharpen me and be honest with me, as well as be considerate of my emotions, my soul, and my vulnerability in that space, then I'm like, okay, that's what I need. I need people, even with like, 
I mean, speaking of characteristics that I look in a friend, look for in a friend, obviously I will look for that in my husband as well. And I have to be able to trust that he has wisdom and he will provide a safe space for me, what he'll sharpen me. Because sometimes I need somebody to tell me, hush. Like the mothers used to say, hush. And I need to trust that it's coming from a safe, a safe place as well as a strong place. So I always look uh, for someone that'll be honest with me. The truth will set you free. So people that'll rock with you, um, ride or die, uh, loyalty, loyalty and ride or die, that's kind of the same thing. But sometimes they'll say they ride or die and they'll fight for you, but it's like, and it's, well, some people, okay, just here, relax. Seasons, respecting expiration dates, we say that all the time. But ride or die, loyalty, wise, wisdom, and what else did I say? Iron sharpens iron. I just want them to be sharp. Uh, and of course, the love. I read a scripture about that. So I hope you love it. I hope you're finding good friends, safe connections, because it's so necessary. I think sometimes our friends um, in our village reveals to us how far we will go. So there you go.